A mosque shooting victim is worried his wife and four children may be forced to return to India because they haven't yet been granted residency. Mohammed Sahadat was in New Zealand on a working visa when he was badly injured at the Linwood Mosque on March 15th. He became eligible for permanent residency as part of the Christchurch Response Visa brought in by the government to help victims. But when it arrived a month ago, it did not include the names of his family who moved here to be with him soon after the shootings. Reporter Conan Young and cameraman Simon Rogers have the story. Visitors to Sahadat's home are always told to come with an empty stomach. The former chef and his wife are known for their hospitality and insist on serving up large helpings of food from their native India. Speaking through a translator, Sahadat says the welcome has so far not been reciprocated by Immigration New Zealand. He said it was in the email that you, because your wife and kids were not present on the 15th of March, hence the reason they are not getting mm-hmm. their permanent residence. Was that a surprise to you? Surprise? I got a lot of surprise. Thanks for New Zealand immigration, all the people. He was hurt that uh, his wife and kids didn't get it. Sahadat's wife and four children, who joined him shortly after the shootings, are currently here on visitor and student visas. When he applied for permanent residency, he included the names of his family on the understanding they too would be eligible as part of the Christchurch response visa. Because uh, I got the invitation letter. Because the invitation letter, after you submitted the expression of interest, suggested to him at the time that obviously all of them who had applied will get it. Yeah. So that's why he was surprised and shocked yeah. and disappointed when he only got his and not his family. The criteria for the Christchurch response visa is that immediate family members must have been living in New Zealand on March 15. Because they weren't, Sahadat says they're having to jump through numerous hoops, including providing phone records to prove he's been in regular touch with them since he moved to Christchurch to work almost a year ago. This as he grapples with the after-effects of the mosque attack in a foreign country. Sahadat, who may still have to go back for a fourth round of surgery on his shoulder that was badly damaged by a bullet and is still struggling psychologically, says having his family here has been vital for his recovery. He so says really 100% support that, that they are here and he can be with his, and the children can see what his dad's going through as well and he's getting the support from his wife as well, being here. And so how does it feel now knowing that your family is going to have to wait to get this permanent residency. It must feel very uncertain. So he is a bit tensed and anxious that, you know, that his family hasn't got it. Yeah. Only him. Yeah. And is there any indication how long this process will take before they are granted residency? No idea. No idea. Deborah Lemon, who's been advocating for Sahadat and his family, says it's a lot harder for them to access healthcare, for example, when they don't have permanent residency. Sometimes you can, you're can, you okay because the husband has got residency and they don't get charged, but some places they'll be charged because they don't have a residency themselves, so they'll be charged as if they're international uh, visitor. With Sahadat's ability to return to work still up in the air, the family continue to rely on temporary accommodation being made available by MSD. This runs out by the end of this year, when they hope to get into a housing New Zealand home. But Deborah Lemon says this too could be difficult without residency. Because they have to be here as a resident for two years, it means that they're not eligible for social housing. Um, we're hoping that maybe that might be relooked at um, because we've had, we've had um, timelines be changed for getting payments and helping them with um, work and income payments. So um, hopefully Parliament or Government might have a look at that at a later stage. Things have not been easy for Sahadat and his family since March 15, including two occasions when they were subject to racist taunts and threats of violence. 
Since then, though, things have started looking up a little bit, with numerous offers of money and help coming in from those who heard the story, including a new washing machine so his wife no longer has to wash their clothes by hand. Sahadat is grateful for the support and still hopeful Immigration New Zealand will show the same generosity to his family. Kei Oto Tahiaho Mote Hotaka Ote Ahiahi Ko Kanan Young Tene. Immigration New Zealand says while it is sympathetic towards the family situation, it does not have any discretion when considering a person's eligibility for the Christchurch response visa. However, it says it's continuing to work with the family on other visa options that may be available to them and notes they still have the option of seeking ministerial intervention.